What's up guys, good morning. What a wild day yesterday. And before we get started, it's super early. It's 4.09 in the morning. Don't forget to grab your coffee. Here's mine. So Mullen, as a pre-market right now, is trading at 13.62, so we're a little up from yesterday's close. I'm gonna show you a couple things today. New news that Mullen has put out, which is very interesting because they put this out late at night, but there's also one other piece that you gotta see. I also just updated the Patreon on a stock called PayPal, so check that out down below if you wanna be a part of the team, maybe a part of the private Discord. Links down below. DraftKings is on fire. I don't know if you guys saw that, but back to Mullen. So Mullen actually ran exactly to the 236 level. Yesterday on the Fibs, I shared that with the Patreon this morning as well, and kind of gave my prediction of where I think it could go next if good news continues. Now, right now we are making higher lows on the actual charts. So that is a positive. And I said that in yesterday's video, I said, hey, look, and we were trading at like 1450 at the time. I said we could drop as low as 13 cents, but as long as we make a higher low at above 12, then that's positive to me, okay? We know how Mullen is manipulated. We know it can run 100, 200%, literally today if it wants to, depending if they drop any news or not. So my whole goal is to bring my cost bases down, increase my overall share count, catch the next run up, possibly sell all of it or some of it and catch the downtrend again, because that will come in the future. So check this out. Our guy on LinkedIn, David, actually posted this and he probably just copied what Mullen posted because Mullen posted this late last night. You can see six hours ago and it being four o'clock. This is at like 10 p.m. at night. And I just don't understand why would you post this late pictures of the class three and production that has started. So David says August is off to a great start at our Tunica plant. Check out the Mullen 3 class 3 EV cab. Production in action, our green fleet is taking shape and we are proud to be contributing to the electric vehicle movement. So what's your guys' take from this? I guess my question to you is why would David post this so late? Okay, there's no news yet. Um, usually news comes out at five o'clock Pacific time, eight o'clock Eastern time. So we still have about 45 minutes till that happens. But let me know down below. You can see there's a couple pictures here. This is obviously the class three. Someone's working on something. So it looks like production is happening. It looks like they're putting vehicles together. And that's really what we're waiting on, right? That's the next thing is deliveries. And when I spoke with Brad, he said that he was going to be getting deliveries of the class three vehicle from August all the way to December and they're completely sold out. But also he said they're going through MGT and that's a, another huge problem that's very confusing. But then he also said he, he sold out a class three or class one vehicles, about 1,054 they've sold and now they're just waiting on deliveries from Mullen. So I'm telling you when Mullen delivers these vehicles, I think this will initiate a run in the stock not being financial advice, I'm not an advisor or anything, I'm just telling you what has happened before and how Mullen moves on news. So for me, I'm waiting on that, right? I told you I'm waiting on production, I'm waiting on clarity with the class one, class three, and then really seeing what's gonna come in the future. Now, yeah, there's a bunch of rumors going around, they're getting vehicles from China, and so what, they might be. They might be getting some, some parts from China, but they're finalizing everything here, putting the airbags, the processors, everything they need to in Tunica, and then they're gonna give it to the customer. That's all that matters, right? As long as they collect revenue, that's what they need. Now, the future will tell a lot. Where are they gonna go from here? How big will the class one vans actually become for businesses? How big will class three become for companies? That's the question we gotta understand is, does Mullen have a future? Because we might get another pop to get your money out if you were bringing your cost basis down. But the question is, is this a company that's gonna be staying around for a while? The only positive that I see right now, because David is not my cup of tea when it comes to the CEO and the board, obviously, and the whole thing yesterday, which I'm gonna show you in a minute, the recording, if you didn't hear it, I'm gonna show you in a second, so stay tuned for that. But the only positive thing that I see is Bollinger Motors, but the problem with Bollinger Motors is that's not gonna be happening until 2024. Proposal three by the holders of Comstock, Series A preferred stock and Series C preferred stock being on an as converted to common stock basis person or presented by proxy and entitled to vote thereon, 
all voting together as a single class, exceed the votes against Proposal 3. Therefore, Proposal 3 has been or Proposal 3 by the holders of common stock. Did you catch that pause? It was so long, way longer than all the other glitches that happened while they were speaking. So after listening to it a couple times and really finalizing, okay, what they said is they're tricky with their words. So I told the Discord, I said, so the cutting audio was, but now I understand he said all voting together as a single class exceeds. So if you look up what exceeds means, it's greater in number or size. So he says exceeds the votes against Proposal 3. So there was more votes that won than the ones that were against Proposal 3. So more votes for yes, basically. So they're tricky with their words. So it sounds like it exceeds the votes against. Like they're saying there were more votes against, but actually it's the opposite. There were more votes for than what was against Proposal 3. Therefore, Proposal 3 has been blank and then it goes blank for like three four seconds and then you hear the word four and then that's pretty much it i said tricky wording but basically exceeds means be greater in number or size so the votes for yes was greater than who voted no everyone got confused because they didn't just say proposal three was approved or proposal three was voted on yes for a reverse split they were tricky with their words, therefore pump and dump once people realized. And like I shared with you yesterday, once I started to see what was happening on the charts and people speaking on Twitter and on YouTube, I decided to sell and then I bought back in lower. I do have a little bit of cash still in profit uh, that I kept on the sidelines, so I'll probably be buying back in today to bring my average even lower. But let me know what you think about that. What was up with this glitch? I think it was all planned, to be honest with you. I think they have an agenda. We've seen this before where the, the, the stock runs and then people sell. And when you think about it, they got all their buddies, and I'm not saying they're giving information to their buddies or whatever it is, but when you run 45% in a matter of a couple hours, that's a huge return, especially if you're putting in a couple hundred grand a million bucks, whatever it is, you just made a ton of money. And then you sell it on retail who's holding the bag and maybe doesn't have a couple million dollars to throw in a stock to get a 40% return. That's the game that they've been playing, I believe. So that's why we're playing the game back, right? And that's why we're gonna increase the share count, we're gonna sell these pops, and we're gonna buy in lower. And of course, if you wanna learn about any of that, because the chart does line up a little bit with what, what's gonna be happening, Check the links out down below. That's my two cents with what's going on with Mullen stock. Not that pretty right now, but I do see us possibly going higher depending if we get news. We know the reverse stock split is coming soon, probably in the next couple days. So be prepared for that. Again, this is just my honest opinion though with really what I think is happening now. I hope you enjoy your day. Don't forget to stay grateful. Grateful to be here, grateful for another day, and we will absolutely see you on the next one.